Hey guys, Guitar Guts back with you today, and I'm gonna show you a common problem that can be caused when you switch from a heavy gauge string set to a lighter gauge string set. I see this problem more often on basses, but it can also happen to guitars as well, and I'll show you a fairly easy fix for it once you understand what's causing it. It's fairly simple to solve. If you're used to playing a fairly heavy gauge set on your bass or your guitar where the top string is a fairly uh, large string, and then you decide to switch over to a lighter gauge string set like this one here, that's a fairly big difference in diameter of those two strings. That can cause tension differences on the neck where you have to readjust your truss rod and you might have to readjust your string height to get everything set back upright, but those are no big deal. But this can also cause a bigger problem that causes you string buzz at the nut that will sound almost like a high fret, but it's not. It's happening here at the nut where the string breaks heading down toward the tuning post. And you can see on this first string here, that's a fairly steep angle heading down from the nut toward that tuning post. But on the next string over, you can see that it's not quite as steep. It's almost straight from the nut to the tuning post. And there's where you can run into problems. Now, some of the other strings would be worse, but most guitars have a string tree installed that will pull the angle of those two strings down further. The tuning posts for those are up here at the top of the headboard. And so um, if you didn't have that string tree there, that would be almost a straight shot or maybe even a little above the nut there, and that would cause you big problems. Now, if you're using regular heavy gauge strings, then when you're winding down the tuning post here, um, each wind down pushes that string angle down more. Let me show you what I mean. If you're using fairly heavy gauge strings, they take up a certain amount of space. You start winding on the top and you wind your, your subsequent winds down and down again so that they're coming off the string post at the bottom of where you've wound them on. And that gives you a fairly nice angle up toward the nut to hold the string down in the slot securely and not let it buzz inside the slot because it's being pulled down tight to the nut there. But if you've got uh, smaller gauge strings, they're not going down the tuning post as far. And so they're not creating that angle up toward the nut. They could be letting it sit almost flat in that nut slot. And when you get close to that, when you get close to that string coming straight across the nut there, it can buzz inside the nut slot because it's not being pulled down tightly into it. And that's what causes the buzz when you're changing from the heavy gauge strings to lighter gauge strings. Now, there is a simple solution to that, and it's in how you're stringing your guitar. If you imagine this is a new string that's coming up the neck here, and you're about to install it here at this tuning post, the, the normal recommendation is to pull the string through, measure over two tuning posts beyond the one you're trying to string into, and then you'd take a pair of snips and you would snip it off right there. So I would be coming up one, two, and then I would snip that string right there, and that would fit perfectly down into the tuning post uh, and give me the correct number of lines. Now, to be uh, completely honest though, I don't usually do that to this one because that puts too much string around the post. That's a large gauge string. And if you wrap too much around that one, it can begin to wad up on itself and push that string over to where it's not coming straight across the nut, which is another problem that can cause tuning problems, but not usually buzz problems. So I do about one and a half tuners past that. And then the others, if I'm doing this one, I would go one, two past that, and I'd cut the string right there, and then it would fit down in here and give me the correct number of lines. But here's where you get in trouble with that tuning post. If you're using a light gauge string, and you can see it here on this um, Fender Mustang, if you're using a light gauge string, it doesn't have that many winds down the post if you're cutting it that way, and you don't have much of any break angle over the nut there. It almost needs a string tree. Um, but that was causing uh, string buzz on this and the other guitar I'm gonna show you here in a second. Um, and so the solution for it is not to use larger gauge strings unless you just want to. You can simply add more winds down the post. 
and that will push it down further, which means that instead of measuring, you know, one, two past where you're trying to string up, you might need to measure three posts past or even three and a half posts past. You can see where I've done that on the sterling. On that first tuning post, I've got about a wine and a half and it's doing fine. Got a fairly straight string angle over the nut there. On these two where I have a string tree, I've done a, the standard measurement and have a couple of wines around the post. But on that one that doesn't have the string tree and doesn't have a good break angle, I've got about four wines around that post and that's pushing it down further. Now, you don't need to try to get it down as far as like the B or E string, whichever one's your top string. You don't need to get it down that far. It doesn't have to be that drastic of a break angle. You just need to get it down far enough to where it's being held in that nut slot firmly enough. And it didn't take much to get mine there. You can see there's a little bit of break angle heading toward that now, but I get no buzz now. Whereas one or two less winds around that post, I was getting some bad buzz on the open string there. So on this one as well, I'm gonna have to go back and um, get a slightly longer string and wind it a few down the post because I am getting some buzz from the nut there when I play that string kind of hard uh, when I don't have it fretted. Uh, it is possible sometimes, and this is what I've been doing with this, this is why I haven't bought a new set of strings, it is possible sometimes to uh, simply loosen the string, push it physically down while you're tuning it back. And sometimes, depending on what that uh, tuning post is shaped like, uh, sometimes it will hold itself there. Now, sometimes it won't because some of these tuning posts are uh, angled to the point where they will pull that string back up into place where it's supposed to be. Now that is not a permanent fix. You can see it'll stick there down further than it should be, right? That's a temporary fix that gave me a little more break angle over the nut. It's working for me right now, but what you set yourself up for when you do that, when there's nothing between and it's just tension that's holding it there, eventually that might slip. And not only is it going to ping really loud, but it's also gonna throw you way out of tune if you're trying to play with a band or something like that. Uh, so the better option would be, would be for me to put a longer string on there and get about three or four winds down that post and the buzzing will go away. Now, I've seen this on guitars as well, like I said. And if you notice on some guitars that have a fairly shallow break angle over the nut anyway, if you're using locking tuners, locking tuners have practically no string wind around the post. So the string is not physically pushing it on down the post to give you more break angle. And that's why you'll notice on guitars like this Ibanez where it's got locking tuners on the back, uh, they've installed really, really short tuning posts. And that's why you've got no string pushing the string down the post to give you that break angle. And so the tuning posts themselves have to be short. But if you've experienced problems like I just showed you on the bass on a guitar and you can wind the string around the post, you can do what I showed you and just put more wind on there and keep pushing it down the post until you get the correct break angle. And it usually doesn't take much, just one or two little degrees difference uh, will solve the problem for you. Well, I hope that helps. If you've been having that problem, hope that solved it for you. If you got any comments, uh, pop them down below and I'll be glad to read them. Talk to you later.